I have discovered 9 out of 9 fauna, which is really cool. Um, and we can get 450 nanites from uploading those. Pretty cool, man. And this was the last fellow that I discovered. He's kind of like a, a, a praying mantis crab spider thing thingamadoodle. He likes to kill and feast upon larger creatures so that he doesn't have to eat for several months. So how convenient is that, right? He wasn't hostile to me, though. Oh, look at me. I'm a naturalist. Hot damn. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, in this episode, we are going to continue the quest line and uh, see if we can get the um, uh, far enough to get the antimatter recipe and hit the nexus. Uh, hopefully, in this episode, or at least in the next episode. Uh, but knowing in my um, habit for squirreling, it <laughs> don't be surprised if it doesn't happen. But that is the plan uh, for today. Now, a couple things I want to get you caught up on real quick. Um, I finished uh, putting the power components up uh, right after I left you guys in the last episode. So we've got a biofuel reactor, we have a battery, and we have one solar panel. And that's all we need for this base, because the only thing that's really powering right now anyway is the terminus and if we look inside of here we can see that the terminus um, it was at full power before the sun went down but it's got plenty of power um, available to keep the base up and running uh, with plenty to spare uh, like I said the only thing though that we're really powering is the terminus itself I'm not really planning on doing anything else uh, with this base other than what you see here um, but we can come back here later on if we need to uh, to access the uh, the minor trading post, if nothing else. So uh, we're going to go ahead and keep this. Do we want to keep this save beacon here? You know what? I think we'll take that. With, nah, yeah, let's take it with us. Let's save first. That'll give us a manual save, and we'll just pick that up and take it with us. Let me take a quick look at my inventory and see what kind of space we have. We're kind of low on space. Yeah, we don't got a ton of space. But let's just run with this for now. Um, I've got a bunch of navigation data doohickeys that I really need to probably turn in for star charts or, or planetary, uh, yeah, planetary charts. But I, I'm sort of kind of hanging on to those for the Nexus too. So we'll we'll just have to kind of see how things go. I don't really want to set storage up here because this is not our main base. This is just a temporary base. So anyway. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you do, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, consider uh, sharing the video and leaving a comment. All those things definitely help the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and get rolling. So what the quest wants us to do is investigate the space station. So it's finally marked the space station for us. But what we actually need to do first is we need to check the, the base computer here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what it has to say. Accessing log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry 4925F follows. Scanner detected unusual broadcast. Gazette repeating 16. Gazette from the space station. Warning. End of archive. Records interrupted. The base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more I will learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. They want us to go to the space station. Okay. So, um, I guess it's time for us to head on up to the space station. Now, we could either fly up there, or we could just take the terminal up there. But between you and me, flying is much more fun. So let's go ahead and jump in the ship. And I'm going to actually hop back out and do one more... Oh, wait. No, I'm not. Never mind. We're all good. It's all good. Let's just go. Let's hop on in our fighter here and take off into space. Okay, here we go. Goodbye, base. I might be back someday, and I might not. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that planet up there. It's awesome looking. Awesome looking. There's a couple things we need to do at that planet, too. Okay, so, um, I don't think I'm going to mess around mining stuff. Let's just take off. Just because I don't have the room for it right now. Alright, let's get lined up here. And we're off. 
planet looks awesome. That's the planet that we, uh, I think that's the planet we started on. And the space station's right above it, and I just happened to find it by hap happenstance. I wasn't even looking for it. But you could kind of see it up in the sky from down on the surface of the planet. It was really cool. I think it happened to us in, like, episode two or three or something like that. Well, you know what? We're not actually on the space station. We need to get on it here. Fine, fine tune um, or precision movements, I guess is what I'm trying to say, is tricky in VR. You really got to use that feather touch. I'm getting better at it, though, but it's still, still not as easy to do as the mouse. It's nice, though, that we have the space station actually marked for us now, because it hasn't been up until this point. Okay, we're going to have to fly all the rest of the way in here. Go! Whoa! Overshot! Oh, that time it didn't black out on us either. I, I, they, No Man's Sky just did come out with an update too, by the way. I haven't actually read the patch notes to it. I updated right before I started the stream. Okay, so, explore the space station, find life forms to ask about the mysterious signal. So let's hop on out of our ship here. And we have been up here a couple of times, but I haven't actually spent uh, any time, you know, actually talking to anybody to speak of. That was, yeah, pun intended. Get it? Speak of? Talk? Okay, I'll stop. Let's head on up here. Uh, so we've already gotten the, uh, we've already gotten the, the suit upgrade from that guy. Uh, we do have a pretty good supply of nanites, though. I've got over 1,500 nanites, so we probably should think about getting some upgrades, too. Uh, you are Exocraft dude. You are ship dude. Oh, you know what? Have I? I haven't done that. I forgot. Didn't get those nanites. Gotta look around for those things. We're gonna get sidetracked for one second here. Oh my god. I thought I'd already done all this. I I'm, I'm, must be confusing this game with the multiplayer game. Look at all those nanite clusters we're missing out on, man. Is there anything over here? Sure enough. Okay. So all of the dudes to talk to are going to be over there, so we'll head over there in a second. One other thing I do want to do fairly soon, too, is, is change our character appearance. But again, we'll do that later. That's not a super high priority right now. Um... Okay, yeah, don't loot the plants, old guy. Stay focused, man. Stay focused. Stay focused. Okay, uh, there's a ship down there. <laughs> he says as he gets unfocused again. Let's just look at it. We're just going to look at it, okay? What is it? It's a Class C-22. No, thank you. We'll stick with our Class B fighter for now. Uh, but we do want to look and see uh, what the fighter may need in the way of upgrades. So I think I have... Yeah, I've got this. Oh, you know what, though? I got the wire looms. I just need the antimatter, which is another reason why we need to stay focused and get our antimatter. So let's do that. We'll stay in focused. Nothing's going to distract us. Are there any ships coming in? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, let's start talking to these guys systematically. We will start with you, Corvax dude. Kot Dionka Dagada Yanda Tala Yatupa Papa. Okay, never mind. Despite their unfamiliar words, there's something about this alien's manner that implies we have met before. Perhaps they know the one who came before me. Ask about other travelers. The life form paused before turning away. They either did not hear me or are choosing to ignore my question. Well, that's kind of rude. All right, let's talk to this guy. Engineer Hebe. Whoop. Ug Huna Interloper, Ud Kuyu, Rugan Tu Kiyu Kwes Interloping Zihub Der Ula Kufus. I don't even know why I attempt to read that. The life form puffs himself up as I approach, making the mo Excuse me, sir. We're having a conversation here. And he doesn't care. Uh, making the most of their impressive size. Perhaps they might recognize the signal mentioned by the base computer. Ask about 16. Hearing the code seems to cause a life form to shrink, a look of fear crossing their face, and then, in an instant, the fear passes. They look at me strangely, but say nothing more. All right, I guess it wasn't him either. All right, Corporal, get in your personal space. 
Whoa, that's that's a little close, guy. That's a little close. Uh, the Monaki is Akoi Zinguba Yan Will Nulin Eb You You Will Nuleb Uts You Are Unga. Okay. Um, I've been in uh, Viking space, as you guys can tell, and I do know some of their words, uh, but obviously not enough. Despite their size, the alien does not seem aggressive, but when I blink, I see that same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. Repeat, 16. We are watching you, traveler. Friend? Find what we have left you. Oh, okay, so I, I guess I know all those red words. Uh, though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form glaring at me. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have witnessed it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. Log coordinates. Whoa, excuse me. Okay, so visit technology merchants to upgrade your ship. Yeah, visit the cartographer. Yeah, take missions from the mission agent to earn rewards. Yeah. Use the teleporter to instantly return to your base. Okay, we already kind of know all that. We got a milestone. Not alone, we've met 10 aliens. That is fantastic. Okay, so, um, what's the next step? Let's take a look at the quest and see what it wants us to do. Log, Awakenings Quest. Reach the decoded coordinates. The signal appears to be a sit of coordinates on a distressed frequency. Follow the signal to locate the source. So I think what this is going to do is take us to the crashed freighter. Teleport terminus, destination reached. So this will take us back to... This will take us back to our base. Because it did say... The encoded message has been stored for later use when ready to leave. Use the teleport terminus to return to your base. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just follow the quest. I could fly down there, but... I don't want to take the chance of screwing something up. So we will just warp back to the base. And the ship will follow us, so it will be there when we get there, but it'll probably be parked in a wonky position, as it usually is. Okay, home sweet home, back at the base. Where did it put my ship? Okay, it's over there. No problem. Um, so let's hop on up here to our base computer. This is the base computer. Use archives to decrypt the code acquired by the space station. Okay, here we go. Archives terminated. Select a new task. Begin decryption. Decoding. 16. 16. 16. Message follows. The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Okay, that was not cryptic at all. <laughs> okay, signal acquired life signs detected. Reach the decoded coordinates, it says. All right. Um, encoded signal received. Coordinates logged. Reach the signal. So that's going to be up that way. Oh, it's way over there. Oh, yeah. It's the it's the crashed uh, freighter. Nice. Okay, let's ease on over here. That thing just kind of popped right in, didn't it? I have to tell you what, you guys, this game is a trip in VR. If you ever get a chance to play No Man's Sky in VR, do it. It's crazy. Okay, so what we have to do is go talk to this thing. And while we're here, we're probably going to go ahead and loot this place, too, because why the hell not, right? Robust. Survive 20 souls on extreme worlds. Look at us and our robust self. Okay. Log damaged. Parcel records available. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long-forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log, blinking, awaiting input. Request a log. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. Well, how convenient is that? We'll take the blueprint for that. Thank you very much. I pulled the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. Well, how nice of them. Look at that. We have now discovered 
our hyperdrive because we bought the microprocessors and we've been carrying around chromatic metal forever we can build it right now right here right now look at that fantastic okay begin the hyperdrive installation let's go ahead and hop into the, to the ship to save on um, life support and then we just go here and we go uh, I think what we want to do here is we want to install the hyperdrive by the pulse engine I think those will be in the same class and then at some point you know what we should be doing too is moving this over uh, to the launch thruster so to move technology we do a see so it outlines both of those in blue in fact my good buddy Knight Riders is the one that taught me about how to do that um, okay so let's go to install technology we will install the hyperdrive we will install the processors in the chromatic metal and now ladies and gentlemen we have a hyperdrive in our ship look at us and our bad selves it doesn't look though like it it uh, gets a bonus from the pulse engine so I guess those are not in the same category but there are hyperdrive and I think maybe pulse engine but definitely hyperdrive components that we can buy later on uh, for that okay cool now what do we do objective is complete now find antimatter anti-diagnostics report hyperdrive successfully installed right trigger hyperdrive fuel status is empty my hyperdrive is complete perhaps I really will find answers out there amidst the stars but without warp cells I will be going nowhere I need to find a source of antimatter tune scanner to antimatter search for antimatter traces with a starship scanner scanner is attuned to antimatter don't ask me how we did that but we did it atmospheric interference detector perform planetary scan from orbit okay so before we do that before we do that we are gonna just take a look and see what these um, uh, storage bins require to open if it doesn't require my left arm and my right knuckle then we will here I'm gonna pull this out uh, we will take the time to do that because we can find some pretty valuable stuff in here Chromatic metal and magnetized ferrite. This technology is critically damaged. I think we can handle that, you guys. I think we can handle that, but we gotta go get the chromatic chromatic metal out of our ship. Oh my god, 74,000 credits? Wow. Okay, I'll take that. That's not bad. 74,000 credits just from opening that crate. That doesn't suck. Okay, let's go hit the, hit the rest from here. We'll move as quickly as we can so we can get back on the quest. Wow. They just want to give me money. Okay, I'll take money. I like money. Money's good. So those were the two easy ones. Now we're going to have a couple buried ones we're going to have to find. So, let's go ahead and scan. Come on, VR. There we go. So we'll go to this one first. Okay, that should be good enough. What do we get? Starship launch fuel. Really? That's all you're gonna give me? Oh man! Ow! Probably, I probably better get out of there a little faster next time, huh? Okay, here we go. Okay, whatever we got, we're leaving. Nanites. 20 nanites. Okay, well, that's not terrible. I believe there's one more. That's right. 
just oh no there isn't there's two two more okay well let's hit him yeah there we go okay repair and oh shit did I already grab it ow what did I get I didn't even see what I got <laughs> um Oh, another starship fuel. Damn it! I don't need starship fuel. Alright. Well, we won't know until we try, right? One more to go. It's, uh, where was it? It was over here somewhere. Right there. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice. We got an antimatter house, and we're actually going to need that. Okay. I think that's it then, guys, for the crashed freighter. Don't see any more cargo pods. So this one actually had six. Which is cool. That reminds me. Um, I, I don't think I told you guys this uh, in the last episode. But I actually found the last animal on this planet. So I've scanned all the animals on the planet. I haven't turned it in yet because I wanted to show that to you guys on the episode. Oh, hell, am I going to be able to get around over here? Um, yeah, let's look at that real quick. I should probably be waiting until we get back to the ship, but... Uh, if we go to Discoveries, and we hit Tongue, I have discovered 9 out of 9 fauna, which is really cool. Um, and we can get 450 nanites from uploading those. Pretty cool, man. And this was the last fellow that I discovered. He's kind of like a, a, a praying mantis crab spider thing thingamadoodle. He likes to kill and feast upon larger creatures so that he doesn't have to eat for several months. So how convenient is that, right? He wasn't hostile to me, though. Oh, look at me. I'm a naturalist. Hot damn. Whoa. Okay, we are finished here. It is time for us to head up into space and scan this next signal that we have. Take it off. Up, up, and away. Okay, so let's see. Search for antimatter traces with a starship scanner. So we'll just do a ping here. We'll honk the system, as they say in Elite Dangerous. There it is. It's on our our starting planet, Nuga. Which, by the way, if you guys didn't already know this, was discovered by another player. Which is pretty cool. Considering there are 15 quintillion star systems in this game, when you come across another planet that another player discovered, that's a fairly rare thing. At least it is in my experience. Okay, let's get this lined up. It bit, but it bit, 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 bit. Here we go. Why does it keep going there? No, I don't want to go there. I want to go here. <laughs> it keeps wanting to go to the damn distress signal. All right, let's get a little closer to the planet, and then we'll try it again. I mean, we will visit that distress signal, but that's. Not what we're trying to do right at the moment. There we go. Yeah, it uh, apparently the distress signal had a stronger pull than the than the antimatter trace did. Oh look at that! We actually have a small settlement with a landing pad right over the hill. We're gonna take advantage of that, and we're also gonna mark this place too. Except for that, I forgot to turn my thruster off. I did that on purpose. I was just testing you guys to see if you were paying attention. There we go. So that's convenient. Alright, so let's hop on out of here. What I think we're going to do... Yeah, it's only 570 units away. That's not too terribly far. 
But because this is a trading station, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look and see what kind of multi-tool they have. Uh, all right. This is a Class C, not even close. Not even close to our awesome Class A with 24 slots in it. So, at least we've checked. All right, guys. Well, I think this is uh, about time for us to wrap up the episode here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, when we come back in the next episode, we're just going to continue working on the quest line and working towards getting um, our antimatter fuel recipe and getting to the anomaly okay so uh, thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video uh, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also consider uh, sharing the, the link and leave it a comment because all those things do help the channel and I greatly appreciate it guys have a great rest of your day we'll catch you in the next episode goodbye